Hello everyone, today we will compare Beamer, Virtual Box, Hyper B, and Chemo. Four popular virtualization platforms. So, Beamer is a leading virtualization platform known for its robust performance, advanced features, and support for both enterprise and personal use. VirtualBox is an open source virtualization tool that's user friendly and versatile, making it popular among developers and tech enthusiasts for running multiple operating systems. Hyper B, developed by Microsoft, is a powerful virtualization tool integrated into Windows, offering seamless management and strong performance for both desktop and server environments. And lastly, Kimu is a flexible open source simulator and virtualizer capable of running various operating systems and support multiple architectures. So in this comparison, we'll dive deep into their features, pricing, performance, customer support, pros and cons, and at the end of the video, I help you choose which one is the best for you. So make sure you watch till the end because I have created a presentation that will help you easily make an informed decision to choose the correct option. And if you want to sign up for Beamer, VirtualBox, Hyper-V, and Kimu, you can use my affiliate links in the description below where I will earn a small commission at no additional cost to you. And you might also get rewards and discounts upon signing up. So without any further ado, let's get started. So now let's go directly to the features comparison. So when we talk about their type of hypervisor, VMware offers type 2 or use type 2 hypervisor. While VirtualBox, same thing again, type 2 hypervisor. So Kimu, same thing again, type 2 hypervisor with type 1 with KVM. While Hyper-B only use type 1 hypervisor. And when we talk about host OS compatibility, VMware use Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. Same thing with VirtualBox, added with Solaris. And Hyper-V is only compatible on Windows. Of course, they are made from Windows. And Kimu also integrates with Windows, uh, Linux, and Mac OS. So they're both compatible. So when it comes to guest OS compatibility, same thing again. VMware is a compatible wide range including Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. Same thing with VirtualBox. While Hyper-V will, will have a Linux just as Windows. So they both have it. While Kimu also have a wide range integration including windows linux and mac os so when it comes to ease of use vmware is professional or feature rich so virtualbox is a user friendly and open source hyper-v is integrated with windows so easy for windows user while kimu is flexible and requires more technical knowledge so now we're done with the features now let's go with the pricing so when it comes to their cost vmware is a paid but with free options VirtualBox is free, of course, and Hyper-V is also free because if you uh, purchase Windows, you will, you will already have Hyper-V, while Kimu is also free. So the only paid is VMware. So when it comes to licensing, VMware is have a commercial license, and VirtualBox, as we said earlier, is an open source, and Hyper-V is included with Windows, while Kimu is also an open source. So yes, that's it. So we're done with the pricing. Now let's go directly to the performance. And when it comes to resource efficiency, VMware offers high and it is optimized for performance. VirtualBox is moderate, good for general use. Hyper-V is also high, efficient for Windows environments. While Kimu is high also with KVM, moderate without KVM. So yes, that's it. So when it comes to scalability, so VMware is excellent for enterprise use. VirtualBox is suitable for personal and small businesses use. Hyper-V is excellent for enterprise use. And Kimu is also highly scalable with KVM. When it comes to stability, VMware is very stable, enterprise grade, while VirtualBox is stable for community supported. Hyper-V is very stable, integrated with Windows, of course, while Kimu is also stable with community. So that's it for the performance comparison. So now let's go to another section which is the customer support. So when we talk about the customer service, VMware professional support is available. VirtualBox, they have community forums and community support. Hyper-V, of course, they're in Windows so you have Microsoft support while Kimu also have community support and forum. And when it comes to documentation, VMware have extensive professional documentation. VirtualBox, also the same but with community driven. Hyper-V, you also have it, and Kimu. So both of them have extensive or all of them have extensive documentation. 
So yes, that's it for the customer support. So now we're done with the features, pricing, performance, uh, comparison. So now let's go directly with pros and cons and let's start by discussing VMware pros and cons. So when it comes to pros, VMware offers high performance and advanced features which is compatible with a wide range of host and guest operating systems and provides professional support and extensive documentation. And that's it for the pros. And when it comes to cons, VMware can be expensive, especially for commercial licenses and may be overkill for simple virtualization needs. So that's it for the VMware pros and cons. So now let's go directly to VirtualBox pros and cons. So when it comes to pros, VirtualBox is free and open source, which is good user-friendly and supports a wide range of host and guest operating system and has extensive community support and documentation. When it comes to cons, VirtualBox may not perform as well as ha other hypervisors in resource-intensive scenarios and may lack some advanced features found in commercial solution. So that's it for VirtualBox pros and cons. So now let's go to Hyper-V pros and cons. So Hyper-V is free with Windows Pro and Enterprise and it offers high performance and efficiency for Windows environments and is integrated with Windows, making it easy for Windows users to set up and manage. Also, cons for cons, Hyper-V is primarily uh, optimized for Windows, which may limit its flexibility for users needing extensive support for other operating systems. So that's it for Hyper-V pros and cons. So for Kimu pros and cons, Kimu is also free and open source highly flexible and supports a wide range of host and guest operating system and can achieve high performance with KVM integration, which is good. And when it comes to cons, Kimu requires more technical knowledge to set up and manage and may not be as user-friendly as other hypervisors. So yes, that's it for the pros and cons. So now we're done with the pros and cons. Now let's go directly to which platform is the best for you. And let's start that by discussing who should choose VMware. So VMware is referable for someone or ideal for enterprise needing a high performance and advanced features, suitable for users requiring professional support and extensive documentation, and best for those who need compatibility with a wide range of hosts and guest operating systems. So if you have all of this quality right here, VMware is referable for you. Yes, that's it. So for the people, we should choose VirtualBox. VirtualBox is preferable or perfect for personal and small businesses used with user-friendly interface. Great for those looking for free, open-source solution with wide compatibility, and suitable for users who prefer extensive community support and documentation. So that's it. So if you have all of these, VirtualBox is for you. And for the second one or third one, we should choose Hyper-V. So Hyper-V is referable or best for Windows-centric environments with seamless integration, ideal for users needing high performance and efficiency for Windows, and lastly, suitable for those who want a free solution including Windows Pro Enterprise. So yes, that's it. So if you have all of this one, Hyper-V is the choice for you. And for the last one, who should choose Kimu? So Kimu is referable for someone for users needing flexibility and high performance with KVM. Suitable for those comfortable with a more technical setup and ideal for users requiring support or for a wide range of host and guest operating system. So yes, that's it. So if you have all of this quality, Kimu is the choice for you. And that's it. So in conclusion, all platforms is suited for different use cases. VMware is ideal for enterprise environments needing high performance and advanced features. VirtualBox is perfect for personal and small businesses used with its user-friendly interface and wide compatibility. Hyper-V is best for Windows-centric environments, offering seamless integration and high efficiency. And lastly, Kimu is great for those who need flexibility and are more comfortable with a more technical setup. So choose the hypervisor that best fits your needs and technical expertise. Whether you prioritize performance, ease of use, or flexibility, there's a solution for you. So don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell for more tech comparisons and insights. So with that being said, the comparison is over and I hope this comparison helped you. And also that's it for this tutorial. See you in the next one.